T Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone. T Man 978 reviewing Transformers Yay. Generations Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Class Sideswipe. Who is what is he? He is number seven in the series right here. Here's his artwork right there. Yeah, he's not that diamond epic, but. Here's this stuff, and I knocked that blast effect that doesn't go to fire drive anyway. And I apologize, I'm starting in car mode. This transformation is so easy, I'll do both of them. You won't need to know the second way after you see the first way, but yeah. He is fully, completely, 100% painted. Every inch of this car mode is painted. Maybe not this black right here, but even underneath of this windshield, he doesn't come with this, for anybody that didn't know. Underneath of that is silver paint. All that silver paint underneath this dark windshield. And they're like silver in there, but all this red paint. It's like masterpiece levels, huh? Might be freaking better than masterpiece. And here's something I wanted to show off. That's why I have it like this. You can take those blast effects and make it look like he's flying. But I like that they painted the rims. It looks nice. It looks like a nice futuristic car. Now, when I first saw it, I didn't like the way the black went right there. But seeing it in motion and in hand, I like it. I like it a lot. Yes, you might be wondering. He actually rolls unrestrictedly. Isn't that awesome? He has this weapon right here. And, of course, you can pop that off. 5 millimeter pick. Put it at the top if you like. There you go. It can go deeper than that, but I don't feel like it. And you can split it up, and you can have a gun over there. Have a gun over here. You can have a gun over here. He doesn't have as many weapons ports as Hound. But he is a more fast, speedy type vehicle, so that's what you can expect. Here he is next to the race car patrol. Here he is next to Hound himself. Not that much longer than now. Here he is next to Power to Primes. Jazz right there. Jazz is still a little bit longer than him. Here he is next to Skytread. Or Skytread's parts. So, yeah. I, this line confuses the crap out of me. They have Earth-looking vehicles, but they're on Cybertron, so did they... Is the story going to be they left the battle from Earth, but they kept their Earth-type vehicle modes and just modified them a little bit to be more Cybertronian? I'm guessing here he is next to you, Studio Series Dropkick. So, you get to see that. Now, as I clean this up, Transformation. Take note of all the silver in there. This whole inner workings right there, that is awesome for for what you get with this transformation. It's like they didn't have to, but they made sure they filled that out. Ta-da, he's done. All right. Now, take note that I had his head turned around. You'll see it when I do the reverse transformation or the transformation back to a car. But you don't have to do that. I like him. Like I said, he reminds me of... Did I say it? I don't know. He reminds me of Masterpiece Sideswipe a lot. But, like, this outline of his body and his articulation and everything. The only piece of articulation he doesn't have that 
masterpiece side swipe is, is the wrist rotation and the hands opening and shutting. But he kind of has better articulation because he has all of this right here. This, this, when you bend the knee, this right here goes into the cavity. So that's an extra step. Once you bend that knee, that's an extra step in the transformation right there. The main thing I dislike about him is this. I wish they found a way to fold all of this up inside of there, but I guess they couldn't. And I actually don't like that this is a floating piece and his crotch and turns right there. But that's silly looking. But going off the transformation they gave him and they wanted to give him a simple transformation, that's good. I like the face sculpt. It is awesome. Looks really good. He has the best head articulation out of all of these deluxes. And his head is kind of the biggest, I think. <laughs> they do that. He does that. And if we bring in his weapons, which I'll look into this manual and see what they're actually called. Like I said in the Hounds video, they all have different names. And the little, the cannon part is called the... W10 or the photo pulsar proton launcher. Now, one thing I had a problem with, and I guess they future proofed him for red alert retool. This is right here. What I didn't realize was there's a five millimeter peg port on both ends. So when I went to put this back on him, I had that hanging over and I'm like, how is he supposed to maneuver? And then I was like, duh, later on, you could flip it this way. Now, I believe. Sideswipe always had it on the left. I could be wrong, even though they're picturing him a lot with it on the right. On the packaging, he doesn't have that on there at all. And then you can use this part, which is the W5 Gyro Blaster. So that's nice, nice and short. Here are the tech specs for both of those. And of course, you can combine it. And what is it called when it's combined? Do they have the name of that on here? Combined, it's the RR Gyrofuse Axle Switch Hyper Blaster. Holy moly. They think they overdid it. But like I said, these are way better than the old instructions. They're easier to read, and it's nice that they have a little extra stuff in there if, if you get bored and want to read that stuff. But he could use this as a gun. And what I think, now, this altogether looks like his old rocket launcher that sat on the shoulder. But the way this is shaped, you can always make it like a homage to his pile driver weapons. Have him do that. If he had two of them, that would be better, but he doesn't. But of course, naturally, he can be he's compatible with things like the battle masters and whatnot. And let me get the race car stream in here. Here we go with this. What I didn't think about is these blast effects can fit into them when I did their reviews. So, you have that. And, nah, this one can't fit into there. For this one, it's good for weapons like this, so you can have that blast effect. And it's good for putting on his chest so you can pretend... Come on, you. Don't make a lie out of me. Pretend he got shot. Ugh. Moving so quick, I don't remember if I showed all of his articulation. I showed the head, the waist, and this, and the legs. I didn't show that he has ankle pivot. The toes can technically, that can bend up, but this gets in the way. But the ankle pivot is crazy right there. The arms can do this swivel. There are no ball joints. You can do this. The elbows bend 90 degrees, and that's that really for him. So he's good. And of course he has peg holes on the feet so you can take these effects right here and make it look like he's doing a jet jump right there. So that's all awesome. And he's cool. If you have a Bondi Tomashi Stage Act 4, which this stand is, I try to make sure I say that in every one of these videos because people are always asking me, what's that stand? What's that stand? Since I know that I said it in the video at some point, I don't have to answer that question repeatedly, but anywho, you can do this because he has a stand port in his butt 
and he does have that five millimeter peg right there, which is for putting gun storage back there and for the weaponizers like Cog, who I'm gonna do next. And I'll show Cog combined with everybody, so you don't have to worry about that. Speaking of Cog, he's the only one I have in robot mode right now, so as you can see, or maybe see a little bit, all the deluxe classes in this wave so far are the same height. They're like the exact same height. So that's what you're working with. And I showed in the previous videos that they are slightly, slightly shorter than Power to Primes and Titans Returns figures. And now reverse transformation. Ta-da! He's a car. And I like him. He's cool. I love his car mode the best. His robot mode, some of the proportions are kind of off. I don't like those flat feet that much. And I mentioned what I don't like about his midsection and whatnot. It would have been cooler if they found a way to give him more than 90 degrees of bend in the arms. But they didn't. It would have been cooler if they gave him wrists that rotate. But they didn't. And... I don't know. I like... I, I like this airbrush effect right there of his messed up shins. It's weird that he has that. Like, you can see that he's in fights. But then the car mode is immaculate like the Michael Bay movies. But this car, like it's, I just said it, is immaculate. I like it a lot. And the robot mode, it, it, it does what it needs to do. So, I can't complain too much. I haven't been complaining about waffles and whatnot, as people call them. But it, it doesn't bother me that much. So there we are with that. My backdrop almost fell. Anywho, if you like this video, thank you so much. Thank you everybody who watches all of these and comments all the time. I recognize your names and your profile pictures when you comment. So I really appreciate that. I appreciate anybody who has shared any of my videos. Thank you so much. Until next time, t 978 out of here. Thank you for watching. Me me.